people power! You hate the WWE, now you're thinking, oh, the great when you fucking idiot. You don't know me, you don't know me. Why, why would I listen to a guy with a fucking gigantic forehead? Well, because it's beautiful, that's why you listen. In fact, you cannot stand the WWE because in another episode of People Power. Okay, I need a better John Laurinaitis. People Power! Yes, this is a series right now because the first episode didn't got any views, like seriously. But I still love doing it because it connects me with you guys because stars of this show, stars of these episodes are you. Not moi, but you for the first time ever. Well, not really, but there is a reason to for you to follow me on Twitter, right? Please follow at the Great One YT because you will be in a video. Who doesn't want to be in the Great One's videos? In fact, people like Zach Cox actually ask me questions. This guy has 300,000 subscribers. If he, if he has a question for me, you better do as well. I asked you guys post what you hate about WWE funny and serious for a video. I hate how John Cena is so underrated and gets buried by every other superstar. Well, I, I think he's not that big of a wrestling fan. Sh should we tell him? Sh should we... Should we tell him that it's, it's most of the time the other way around? He's the guy who's carrying the shovel? Ever heard of sarcasm? Oh. I hate that people have the audacity to disrespect Rusev Day. Fuck those people. Fuck those people. Cut their balls and sell it on eBay for fuck's sakes. I cannot stand it. You, you just... There are so many things you can't do in life. You don't stab your brother in the back. You don't cheat on your girlfriend. And for fuck's sakes, you don't disrespect the Rusev Day. Terrible commentary, awful camera shots, and of course Roman Reigns. Well, terrible commentary... Should, do I agree with that? I think Corey Graves is nice, Booker T was good because he was kind of a real human being. He talked shit, he was a terrible commentator, but at the end of the day, he was a real commentator. Now here's my favorite line of Booker T. Booker, do you think this match of Seth Rollins will make him a number one contender for the tag team championships? No, it is a singles match. Kinda kills all the purpose of the match, but it's kind of a truth because it's his opinion, he's not a scripted robot, so that's why I appreciate it about him. Awful camera shots. Yeah, Kevin Dunn is having a lot of fun with that and his teeth. I love his teeth. I would love to suck out the saliva out of it. It, it probably smells like shit just like I've said. And uh, do you think camera shots are annoying? I don't think so. Uh, are you annoyed yet? I wouldn't. It's It shows how big of a production value WWE has. Are you annoyed yet? You're probably not. Are you happy? Should I continue this? Are you going to punch me in the face? I hate how more WWE matches are not like Alicia Fox and Melina. Am I wrong when I tell you that uh, there was this woman in the WWE Cameron, right? And Stone Cold Steve Austin on Tough Enough asked her. Uh, oh, nearly threw up. Who is your fav- what is your- Again? What is your favorite WWE match? And she answered, <clears throat> listen, I want you to take a, a breathe. I want you to take a breathe in and out. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to speak English. And listen to me. She answered that her favorite WWE match is Alicia Fox versus Melina. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. HBK versus Bret Hart. And this is the match that you chose? I bet she was watching WWE since she was like five, right? Ugh. What's your favorite match? My favorite match was with Melina and Alicia Fox. Who? Do I really need to talk about all the Roman Reigns comments? There was a lot of Roman Reigns, people who don't like Roman Reigns, a lot of people can relate to that. Uh, a lot of people don't like Roman Reigns, and uh, it seems like uh, a lot of people don't like Roman Reigns. And uh, ha have I told you a lot of people don't like Roman Reigns? I don't like Roman Reigns. Uh, a lot of people don't like Roman Reigns. I don't know. I'll fuck them. I hate when guys like Triple H won't put over a promising young talent like Sting. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Yeah, people really blew that out of proportion. I think the reason why Triple H won is because his huge ego, well, mostly. And another reason is that he, sh he, 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 he and his nose lost in the previous WrestleMania, so he needed that win. However, it still doesn't compensate the fact that Sting lost his first match in the WWE. And another one. And then he retired. Nice.
your favorite superstars to life this Christmas. Why don't you do what you love about WWE? Well, that is a brilliant idea and I might just do that soon. What do you love about WWE? So, if you want to be on that video, you must follow me on Twitter. Another great reason to follow the great one. Walk with the great one. Scripted promos. Here's the thing about scripted promos. It needs a little bit of script. I don't want to see Titus O'Neil coming out and saying, I like to kiss my son in the mouth. It's what we do in our family. Grandmother, grandpa, it's a tradition in our family to kiss our sons on the mouth. He really did it. I don't know. It's weird for me. It, it, it is really weird for me. However, they need to have a script where they have like, you need to say this and this and you need this conversation pretty much go there, you know? I bought, I bought an Xbox. The end of this conversation is that your opponent destroyed the Xbox. What am I talking about? I don't know. But it doesn't need to be like it is right now, word by word. It's basically word by word. It, 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 sh it shouldn't be that, that way. Yeah! It's been quite predictable lately. I don't think quite is a right word. To say that WWE is quite predictable, it's like saying that killing someone is quite bad. WWE is, is is definitely predictable. Like we know, we knew that Roman Reigns is facing Brock Lesnar after WrestleMania, until this WrestleMania. So for a year, we 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 actually knew knew that Roman Reigns is facing Brock Lesnar. That's a little bit predictable. I don't appreciate that at all. I, in fact, I hate it. I hate it. I hate WWE. I'll die, don't. Vince McMahon loving Roman Reigns calf. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm not quite sure. There's no voice in that. So here's what you say. Cack. Cack. This is my favorite word of 2018 right now. After I done these Sean's View Entertainment videos, I just fell in love with this world. It's not a cock. It's not a dick. It's not a penis. It's a cack. Cack. You need, you need to learn it. After a couple of tries, you will get better at it. So uh, let's do it together. Cack! Have you, have you learned it? I, I, I promise it will change your life. I hate how Roman Reigns gets four WrestleMania main events in a row because he cacks fists and Superman punches Vince's asshole. Well, I gotta say it's pretty difficult to not get turned on by this. Okay, let's not put this in the video. Let's act like I talk in English when I don't put it in a video, whatever. I hate that Dolph Ziggler is not getting the opportunities that he deserves. I hate that as well. Why Dolph Ziggler doesn't get the opportunities that he deserves? Because he definitely does deserve a lot of things in the WWE. He's one of my... I nearly threw up. Favorite wrestlers in the WWE. One of my favorite entertainers in the WWE. Whatever the case may be. He is really good at what he does. His selling is on point. He has a great moveset. Super kick he stole from Shawn Michaels, it doesn't matter. But I want you to watch this AJ Styles versus uh, Dolph Ziggler match. Not the one where Dolph Ziggler is a heel, the one where both are baby faces, uh, or, or maybe AJ Styles is a heel. AJ Styles is a heel. So it's a match where basically you have Dean Ambrose as a champion and Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles are facing for an opportunity. AJ Styles is already number one contender. If Dolph Ziggler wins, he's going to be added in a triple threat match. He loses, but the match was... I think it's 2016 August 23rd because I watched that today. It was... <sighs> Cack! I can't stand a lot of things about WWE and you guys agree with that. I love the WWE but I have high standards for it. And here's what I hate about WWE. When I ask you a question, I need to get my opinion as well because I'm like Stephanie McMahon when I announce something, I'm going to get my ass and these big bouncy boobs in the same arena as well because I need the attention so that's what I'm going to do I hate the fact that wrestlers watch television like this like who the fuck watches TV like that from the side and the TV is like this to point at the camera and wrestling wrestlers like this to make it seem like you see the television and wrestler sees but but she doesn't see see shit you know how it's it would it's supposed to be like this people normal people watch TV like this right none of the WWE wrestlers do though though Anyways guys, thank you for your comments. I want you to do this as well. I want you to comment on my Twitter where I will ask a question and you can participate in that. I want, I want you to let me know what is your least favorite WWE finisher that you just can't stand.
finisher in general, any wrestling finisher. Let me know in the comments below. You, I go to my Twitter and you will have to reply to my question because it will be on my Twitter. Thanks. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you would like to help me out, Patreon, also, what's that thing? Twitter, <laughs> also Instagram, where I post a lot of pictures, and man, forehead never looked this good. Also, Greatness TV, my second channel, loads of great stuff. So, if you could subscribe to that one, I would be really thankful. So, thanks. The great one, peace, love, and hugs. <laughs> the great one, peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>